guys, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, I am really thrilled to be here, and uh, let's uh, decide to start with this. I have two sisters. Uh, one is mentally handicapped, the other one's a lesbian, and I'm a road comic. How are you? <laughs> you guys are good? My parents are fucking thrilled. <laughs> I dropped out of college to do comedy because I have found nothing on this planet that makes me happier than this right here. So I dropped out of college to do it. And my parents were not happy with that decision at all. And I don't really blame them, to be honest with you. And then my sister came out of the closet and all of a sudden I was off the hook. <laughs> Kentucky parents not too thrilled with a lesbian daughter. That was 15 years ago. My sister and her partner have been together for 15 years longer than any relationship I've ever been able to sustain with another woman. They own a very successful business, they make a lot of money, they own two homes, and now I am fucked again. <laughs> you guys know how weird that feels? <laughs> to have your southern conservative father come up to you at Christmas and be like, all right, why can't you be more like your lesbian sister? <laughs> Better get your shit together, boy. You're embarrassing the family. I just donated sperm to my sister and her wife so they could have a baby. Fuck. Even Bloomington, when I dropped that line, what the hell? Yeah, bring the dangler back up. a not so positive reaction to that, but I'm not from Bloomington. I donated sperm to my sister and her partner so they could have a baby. Let's start here. They asked me to do it. It ain't like I just mailed it to them. Be the ultimate asshole lesbian gift, wouldn't it? Some sperm in an envelope. Y'all probably gonna need some of this. It's common, or maybe not common, but it's becoming more common, you know, for a lesbian couple to ask a brother to be involved. Biologically, it's the closest they can come to having a kid, you know. And it will be my sister's wife who is pregnant, not my sister. I'm Kentucky. I ain't that fucking Is that what you guys are waiting on? You guys are like, let him talk. Get your purse ready, but let him drive. I did not touch my sister. They called me on the phone one day, right? They said, can you do this? That's the way they put it to me. And I thought, well, hell, I can. I've been training for this shit my entire life. As far as I'm concerned, this is the call up to the big leagues. Right here. Hold my dick, I'm going pro. <laughs> and I asked my girlfriend, I said, should I donate sperm so they could have a baby? It's like she'd already thought about it. She didn't even take a breath. She goes, I don't give a damn what you do with that shit as long as you don't give it to me. <laughs> All right. So I said, yes. You know, had a doctor's appointment. I was nervous. You know what I mean? I've never done this before. I've only done it in public a couple of times. <laughs> I walked down into the doctor's office, I opened the door, 20 men in the waiting room. There's 20 dudes. I shut the door, fuck it, I'll be behind the dumpster if you need me. I don't want 20 men in the waiting room. Nobody's looking at anybody else. It was like a giant elevator. There's 20 of us looking straight at the floor. And I was thinking in my head, I don't know what all these weird fucks are here for. And I'm here to give sperm to my sister. Shit. <laughs> Nurse comes over to me. She's got a clipboard and a cup. Relax. I'm not going to be dirty. I'm not really a dirty comic. I'm an honest comic, which is worse. <laughs> I like to talk from here, you know? Here's exactly what I thought. Until I saw that cup, men, about the size of a shot glass. Maybe a little bigger. Tiny little cup. 
till I saw it. It had not occurred to me. I'm going to have to aim. <laughs> Don't hold back on me. Be honest. Men, come on, man. Be honest. During that moment of poetry, <laughs> you ever had to have enough self-control to hit a bullseye? You know what I mean? Usually I can't even use my arms. I looked at that cup and I looked at the nurse and I said, ma'am, I'm gonna need a salad bowl. She gave me the cup. She said, you take this and your gross ass and go in the bathroom. Nurse called me gross. You know how nasty you gotta be to gross out a nurse? The bathroom, that was weird too. You know, I don't know, I, I don't know exactly what I was thinking, but I thought there'd be a special room. You know what I mean? Maybe something with an armed guard out front would be nice. You know? I thought there'd be a special room with my name on it. And, some cheese it something. I'm in a unisex bathroom in the weight room of a doctor's office. Ain't nothing in there to help me. No magazines, no computers, nobody wrote boobies on the wall. There ain't nothing. There's a toilet and a set and a sink and a mirror. And I sure as hell didn't want to look at me. I felt like telling the guys in the waiting room, you're gonna have to put the Golden Girls on because I'm gonna need a little help. <laughs> if I hear Blanche, this is a full cup. Are you ooing the Blanche line? I love Bloomington. You guys are perfectly fine with me giving my sperm to some lesbians, but do not fuck with Blanche. You back off the sexy one! <laughs> Let's cut to the chase on this story. I got the job done. I'm no quitter. Yeah. I think it's so wonderful that it's an argument now, you know? In my way of looking at things, if we do not talk about something, then it, it's not, the beginning of the change hasn't started to occur, you know what I mean? And then once we start arguing about it, that's when we start fighting, and that's when we get to the change. Should two men raise a baby? Should two women raise a baby? Big controversy. My opinion, are they going to try to be good parents? Most important question. You know, I would much rather two women raise a child that love it and take care of it than two heterosexual people don't give a shit. You know, my opinion. And I'll be honest. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. I would not make a good father. But I'm looking forward to being a fucked up Uncle Baby Daddy. And that's some redneck Kentucky shit. I am literally, by definition, an Uncle Baby Daddy. <laughs> a little girl, she was born seven months ago. Yeah, I'm proud, I'm so proud of her. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I think I'm the only man on the planet that can honestly tell you my divorce had nothing to do with the fact that I knocked up my sister's wife. <laughs> Yeah, I mean...